there, just practicing my balancing. Um, so today we're going to talk about Shavuot, and we're going to talk about fruit, and we're going to talk about flowers, some of them a little soggy. Um, so let's get started. So as you've already seen, that I've laid out a few different choices for you to try for your Shavuot decoration. Um, so I want to just quickly highlight a few of them and dig right into, well, why don't we even do the whole flower thing on Shavuot? So let's get started. Don't take a bite of this. It's made out of clay. Okay. So you remember I showed you that soggy little flower over here? It used to look better before I dumped it in water, but there is a reason I did that. And so if you'd like to know, you should check out this video because it's pretty fun. Um, I spent probably a little too long playing with that myself today. Um, give it a try. And so um, flowers, paper cuts, nature, fruit, mountains. Sound familiar? It's called Chag HaShavuot or Chag Um, or two other names, four names for Chag HaShavuot. Anyway, back to the point. Um, and the point is Shavuot is a great opportunity to make some art. It's actually one of those times where our Jewish lives and our um, and our art lives combine pretty well. Smash. Um, where we actually have a minhag to decorate for Shavuot. And so what a great opportunity for us to do some art making. So you may like one of these ideas that I showed you, maybe looking at some fruit, some nature, some mountains, um, or maybe you have your own ideas. That's always great, right? Um, flowers are a great theme for Shavuot. We were making some flowers at my house today. Not all went as planned, but we went with it and kept adding details, um, changed our ideas along the way. Mountains. Always room for a good mountain in a Shavuot story, right? The little mountain that could. Harsinai. Um, also, maybe you want to make some food art. These actually we're not going to eat because it's made with something called salt, um, salt dough or kind of clay, um, which is really fun. And if you have plasticine, maybe you want to um, test out some of your ideas, you know, dairy, ice cream, flowers, Torah, all wonderful pictures and things to think about for Shavuot. Now, remember how I said decorating was a part of the minhag of Shavuot? And some of you might be thinking, I don't remember learning about that. Well, let's take a quick look at what I mean by that. Oh, hi again. So, um, here's a picture from just last year, Shavuot, back in the days where we used to go to shul. Remember that? Um, so, um, this is in Rome, Italy, where you see they have tons and tons and tons of flowers decorated for Chag HaShavuot um, because we have a midrash. Um, well, there's actually lots of reasons, but um, one of the reasons that a lot of shuls um, will decorate for Shavuot and decorate our homes for Shavuot with greens and flowers is because there's a midrash that little Harsinai, once the Torah was given on top of it, um, it bloomed into flowers like the Torah is the, you know, the Torah is our tree of life. The Torah is our source of life. So um, when the Torah was given on Har Sinai, it expressed that idea through flowers and greenery. Um, so we like to, that's, there's lots of other ideas too, but that's the one let's think about for now. Um, so as you see, some shuls go all out, some homes go all out. We're not going to be in shul this year. So let's up our game at home with our art. And um, maybe you can make a hundred paper flowers, um, a thousand paper flowers. Don't go crazy uh, or do. Maybe you want to look at those fruits that you have at home. Um, take a look at them, draw them. Why fruits, Miss Cantor? All right, because Shavuot is also Chag Habikarim. Right, so Chag Habikarim, um, where we brought the first fruits to the Kohanim. So I'm sure you have lots of interesting fruits at home, some big, some small, um, put them together or not, take a look at them, find their shape, find their color. Um, or maybe you wanna look at this video that I posted here to show you how to make paper collage from paper. You can look at the real fruits themselves or you can look at the shapes that this artist um, set out for you as a guide along there. And Shavuot, there's also a history of making paper cuts. Now paper cuts, um, you might think, oh yeah, that one that you saw here, 
that I posted for you. It kind of looks like a snowflake. Um, it's starting to feel really hot outside in Toronto, so I don't know why we're doing snowflakes. Well, um, there was a time actually where um, some communities, especially the Ashkenazi communities in Poland and Eastern Europe, weren't decorating with those flowers and greenery that we talked about. So instead they started to do paper cuts and they would hang them in the window, just like a lot of us are hanging art in our windows during COVID-19. So this is kind of like, whoa, two things combining art, um, window art, let's, I mean, shovel out art, window art, let's go all out. Um, so here you see this paper cut from about early 1900s in Poland, Yom Chag HaShavuot Hazzeh. This was specifically made to decorate for Shavuot. Um, and here's another one. It doesn't say Shavuot, but this one also probably from Poland. We don't know exactly when or where. Um, but another example of one of these paper cuts, um, really detailed, as you see, um, that would be hung in the window to decorate, to celebrate, help celebrate Chag HaShavuot. So um, it's always fun to make a snowflake. Even it's sometimes even more fun when it's feeling really hot outside, which I hope it continues. Um, so the point is, Chag HaShavot is a time to decorate, um, a time to make some art. You could take a look at the ideas I've set out for you. Perhaps you just want to make your own ideas. Um, pull out those watercolor paints if you have them. Um, pull out the paper scraps. Um, take a bite of your apple and have a Chag Sameach. Bye.